All right, we're back today with another review, first review in oh, probably a couple weeks. Um, haven't had anything new come in. Just got something, well, actually yesterday. Uh, it's the prize that I won during Sideshow Collectibles Spooktacular 2010 chat. Um, I actually won it uh, by remembering a line from one of uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Fellowship of the Ring, and it had to do with... Um, Today's subject, Galadriel, uh, and the piece is Galadriel's uh, PF that Sideshow made last year. Uh, you know, the character, as far as its importance to Lord of the Rings and Middle-Earth, is a very important character. The PF, when you know, when I saw it at Comic-Con and had seen it in the past, it was beautiful. I just, I, I, it wasn't one I was, I wanted to run out and grab, uh, because there was always something else that, that, I, that I wanted more. Um, but I will tell you that I'm very happy that I got it and that the, uh, premium format is absolutely stunning, uh, costume wise, especially in every way that, that you can possibly, uh, have a premium format be with the detailing and the costume, which you know, obviously will, obviously will go over. Um, there's no exclusive on this piece. It's, it was just a straight 500 edition size. Mine was basically right at the halfway point at 247, so you know that's not too bad, really, considering that this you know this piece has been out for a while, and, and that, that you know this was just one that Sideshow had in their prize closet. So I do want to thank Sideshow for the opportunity to win this. Uh, it was the Mistress of the Web for those of you familiar with uh, Sideshow Collectibles that gave this away. So I want to thank them for that. You know, the, I I didn't pay for the item obviously as a gift and. Um, I even got uh, you know free shipping on it, so that was that was truly amazing. I mean this this piece is really beautiful, um, and I look forward to uh, having it in my collection. So let me get Gladriel set up and uh, kind of you know futzed a little bit, and we'll get started. All right, got Gladriel set up here, and just gonna kind of go over it so you can see the detail, hopefully, and how really just I mean. How amazing it is as far as what Sideshow was able to be able to put into this piece. Um, it's just really crazy. I mean, the stitching job that is done on her, her gown is exceptional. Um, I'll show you the beadwork on her sleeves here in a minute. Er is her the like the little chest piece that holds the her her cloak thing on um the material on the outfit is i don't i mean it's not lace but it's a cot i mean it's a cotton type material but it's real thin um and it's just really it's really well done uh the, i mean Sideshow knows knows what they're doing when it comes to p f s especially and uh, with Lord of the Rings, they get those details right. Some of the stitching, uh, that you can see here. Now this material is kind of a, I don't know, lacy type of material, but, uh, it's really well done here. Let me get that out of the way. Here's the base walking in the grass. I mean, the scene that the PF comes from, you know, to me reminds me of uh, Fellowship of the Ring where she is waving to the Fellowship as they sail down the river and leave um, after they've gotten their gifts in the extended edition. So to me, that's where, the, where it comes from. Kind of give you a better look at the sculpt, hopefully. It's not, um, I mean, it's not a dead-on likeness, I don't think, to, to Kate Blanchett, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's almost there, basically, so it's, it's a good sculpt. Uh, the hair is, I don't know if it's a polystone or just a flexible plastic, but it need it probably is a flexible type plastic, which I know polystone is a type of plastic as well, but a little bit more flexible piece of, of plastic so that way it doesn't get break during shipping. 
Um, when the PF came out, if I remember correctly, it had real hair, like real doll hair type, which I'm glad they changed because I definitely am not a fan of that. I think you can look at pieces like the Hot Toys Black Widow and see how that can really kind of mess something up. Uh, show you the ring here. Uh, no, the ring known as Nenya, that's her ring that she is the keeper of, as she tells Frodo. Uh, show you some of the stitching on the back of her cloak here. You do kind of see a little bit of where the hair piece and stuff, you know, align. But you can cover that up with the hood, and I'll show you that here in a second. Show you the detailing on the hood here. You do kind of have to futz the hood piece here. I had it working here a few minutes ago where it looked pretty good, but I obviously I pushed it down so you like you could see the sculpt without it at the start of the review. Uh, like I said, it's 500 pieces on the edition size, 275 dollar piece, piece number 247. Um, it's it's really well done. Uh, you've got the base down here with the name. Uh, like all the other Lord of the Rings pieces, it's it's the base is pretty heavy. She's not necessarily, um, you know. You've got your, you've got the sculpted toes here. Oh, getting sidetracked to show you the toes. Um, let me back out here. It's gonna be a little blurry for a second. There you go. Um, just really good piece, guys. Uh, very happy to have won it. We'll uh. We'll love having it in my collection. I'm a huge, huge Lord of the Rings fan, so uh, it's it's nice to have a new Lord of the Rings item come in. But you know, if you get a chance to check this out on your own, I would suggest getting it, especially if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, spectacular. I'll kind of talk about that actually for a second. You know, for anybody that won something or didn't win something, hopefully. Uh, you know, you had fun during the event. I did hanging out with most of you that, that were there. Um, if you won something, I, I would I would ask you to please stick around with Sideshow. They're a great company with great people. Obviously, they make some, some really great product. Um, come and chat with us over at the, the Freaks board. Uh, you know, it's a good group of people there. So, you know, and a lot of people that, that you probably talked to for, you know, a few days, obviously, during the event. But, um yeah, like I said, it, it's it was nice to it was nice to win something, especially with the fact that, you know, for me personally, I was staying up till a really insane time of 3 a.m. every day, hoping to to win something. So it was kind of nice. Um, I'll have the review and pictures posted on my blog, uh, crazycollecting.wordpress.com. Blog name is the Pulse. So uh, you know, check out the pictures with the review there. Uh, obviously, this you're gonna see the review here on the on my YouTube page. But uh, that's it for this review. I have Whiplash coming in uh, from the Iron Man Two line. We used a gift card uh, from from Comic Con to to get that when I saw that pop up. War Machine's gonna be shipping soon to me, and Beachhead from the GI Joe line. So I've got a few things lined up for you. Try to keep the blog updated. As always, comments, you know, critiques, anything that you uh, can do to help make me get better. I appreciate it. Till then, guys. Later.